Hey there, Stamperson. Thanks for joining me today. Today we are going to be having some fun old school style. And when I say old school, I mean we're going to be doing this really cool chalkboard technique. And we'll be using lots of new fun products. So let's get started. To get this really cool chalkboard effect, I'll be using the Stampin' Up! Embossing Buddy. This is actually what we normally use before we emboss to keep static down. Honestly, I'm too lazy to use it most of the time. But it's a great tool and for this technique, it's perfect. So you see, I'm just patting it down and the powder that comes in it already looks like a chalkboard that you've erased, right? So I'm just gonna tap off any excess. And there we go, we have our chalkboard ready to roll. My friend Kathy Roddy made this card and she actually used a protractor to get her line here so straight. I snuck in and took my son's protractor and it's not quite the same angle as the one she used so I'm just gonna freehand mine We'll be starting with some Stampin' Up! White Craft ink. And most of the card is done with the new Hearts of Flutter stamp set, which is in the spring catalog. The word love comes from the Stampin' Up! Pennant Parade stamp set. I'm going to stamp the heart twice in the lower corners of the card. Just like so. Oh, it's so cute. I already love it. The reason why I did that first is so, because it also helps me line these guys up. Now remember, this is a chalkboard, so it's okay that it's not perfect because it's like chalk. And then we'll stamp this fun pennant to either side. Add a little bit of an angle. We're going to finish up with a little love. That little love from the pennant parade stamp set. Just kind of random all over. Next, I am breaking out my Stampin' Up! watercolor pencils. It has been a little while since I've seen you babies. We'll play again soon. I'm taking the white. I'm actually just going to use the edge of the pencil box to draw my lines. You could use a ruler or anything else you have. I'm not going all the way down to the edge. I'm, and I'm just putting a little dot in the corners. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then I'm going to draw the little bows that make it look like this pennant is hanging. I know I freehanded these. Just a couple little loops there. And then we'll just pull this up on either side. So it's like it's hanging. When Kathy made hers, she used the brand new pool party embossing powder, which is super cool, except I don't have any. So we're going to alternate colors here and I'm actually going to do the opposite colors that she did and use Melon Mambo. I think it's going to come out kind of cool, but you can be the judge. I'm going to take our Versamark ink pad. So I'm taking the Versamark ink pad and I'm taking pool party in basic black. Her original was Melon Mambo in basic black, but we're alternating, so. We'll stamp one in each. I know what you're thinking, it's pretty hard to see. And that's okay. Because we're gonna emboss over it. Remember those awesome powder pal trays that we have that Stampin' Up! stopped carrying? I still have some in my clearance rack, if you're quick. I don't have one handy, so I'm just using a folded piece of printer paper or any kind of scrap paper. And we'll just tap off any extra so we have the embossing powder sticks right to that Versamark. And we'll do the same thing on the black. See, now, flick the excess off. See, now you can see that image real good. And with the folded piece of paper, just pour the excess right back into that jar. Next, we're going to take our handy dandy heat tool. The heat tool has two settings. I'm going to turn it all the way up to the highest setting. Can you see that? That came up real once quick. It, can you see how and once it embosses, it's shiny, it's gorgeous, it's raised. Love it. So cool. Heat embossing is just such a wow. Very, very cool stuff. One of my favorite things to do. Now, matching the Hearts of Flutter stamp set is the, is the Hearts of Flutter framelit dies. Wow! That was a tongue twister. I am taking the little heart 
and that matches the little hearts that we just embossed perfectly and all of these shapes match the shapes of the images here. They're a great combo and you can purchase them as a bundle in the spring mini catalog in my online store. You can purchase all of these supplies in my online store simply by typing in either this URL or by clicking in the link in the description of this video below. Real easy and all of this information is there including measurements. On top of my Big Shot machine, I have the multi-purpose cutting platform on tab two, which is closed. One cutting pad on the bottom, our paper with a heart on it, line up our heart framelit die, and then just a, a post-it note to hold it in place. Stick that right over it. And then a cutting pad on top of that. And then we'll just crank it through the Big Shot. And when we're done, here's our little heart. Oh, I like it in the pink. Nice. And we'll do the same with the other blue heart. I'm using some Stampin' Dimensionals. These are foam pop dots, one on the back of each. And those just line up over our hearts on the bottom. Then I'm going to take the tiny circle from the Itty Bitty Punch Pack. And I am punching out just a little circle from the more a more designer paper, which is also in the spring catalog and it has these gorgeous die cuts in it too. I love, love, love this paper. Next I'll be using these brand new designer builder brads. These are also in the spring catalog. So fun. You can make them anything you want. I'm using the more and more designer paper, but you can do anything with these. It's real simple. Just take a little snail adhesive or mini glue dot on the back, on the back of the circle that we just punched out. We'll stick that right in the center of our designer brad. And then you get a sheet of these little self-adhesive bubbles that go right over the top. Oh, and it's just so cool. It'll, it looks like glass when you're done with it. Very cool. Little Snail sticks this panel onto a pool party panel. Again, see my blog for the measurements. Use either your paper piercer or the sixteenth of an inch hole punch and pop a little hole in the top left hand corner. And you can stick that brad right in there. That gives it a little bling bling. And this just layers on a panel of Melon Mambo. And we are done. How stinking cool is that? Of course, nowadays the kids don't have chalkboards. They use smart boards. So we're really kicking it old school. This was designed by my friend Kathy Roddy. She's so talented. So this was Kathy's with the pool party. And this was mine with the Melon Mambo embossing powder. I hope you've enjoyed this super cool technique. Thanks for joining me today.